peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. We're nature, baby. Breathing in that beautiful prana. How to maintain a relationship while studying? That's the question that came in. You got a question? Instagram us at infinite waters. If it's crazy enough, then we'll answer it. Can I get a hello there? Right? Lots of people are studying right now. You might be 13 years old, maybe 22, maybe 37, 42, 57, 66. I don't know. People are studying of all different ages right now. And it's difficult. Right? Because you've got you've got a lot of distractions around you. From family to friends to even your partner. So how to maintain a relationship while studying well you better get smart can i get a hello there i know what it's like years ago i was in the same boat thank goodness i jumped out what happened i was studying i was in a relationship and i thought the other person was eating up my time i thought they were a burden not realizing they were actually a blessing in disguise. So I was actually blaming them for failing miserably. I didn't fail really, I actually passed with flying colors. Can I get a hello there? Now here's the psychology of it. Ever notice that people in college, university, school, what happens? The ones who get the top grades, you probably find out that they're in a relationship. Uh-oh. They spend a lot of time with their family. Uh-oh. And their friends. Some of them even go out clubbing. <gasps> Some of them are even working two jobs. So how the hell are they passing with the highest grades? You're scratching your head right now. You're like, how? Here's how. Because you see, many people, when I was at university, a long time ago, what happened? I had a friend who was always in the library, right? I was there too. But I, I sneaked out a lot. I had things to do outside, right? Work with me. And he was there literally from eight in the morning till about hmm, nine in the evening, he was a studyaholic. Is that a word? Well, it should be. Can I get a hello there? He studied so hard. I would be calling him and he would be, he would be like, yeah, that's how he would be speaking. Like, Ugh. He would be like, hey, I'm still stuck in here. Help me. Right? Help. Right? And he failed miserably. When the results came out, you didn't even want to see what he got. Neither did I. I said, put it away. Just kidding. Right? So what happens? People that place all of this pressure on themselves, they say no relationship, no fun, no time for friends while I'm studying. You are now focusing all your attention on the pressure of succeeding that if you fail, you're never going to be able to forgive yourself for it. But you see, many people who achieve great results sometimes you find out they're part of a sports team because exercise does wonders for you right it improves it improves your cognition but more so being in a relationship is also going to take your mind off just the study so you come back to the studies feeling recharged but i know what you're going through just like me you feel someone's eating up your time and that's understandable. So here's what I did. Hey, it might work for you. What are you going to do? You're going to communicate for a change. You're going to open your mouth and say, honey. Or if it's a guy you're in a relationship with, say, hey, look, dude. Can we just, can you help me study? Right? You're going to help me pass this. You can test me. Bring them into your interactive studying experience. Don't overwhelm them though, because it's got nothing to do with them. Hey, you signed up for it, it's your shit, right? But 
Open your mouth. Tell them what you're going through. You don't want to get the sympathy vote. You don't want to do that. But you want to explain to them so when they ask you to go out, they will now understand, understand, and overstand what you're going through. So you prioritize. You say, look, we're just going to have one day where I'm not studying, where we go into nature, we see the butterflies. Butterflies aren't out yet. Okay, never mind. We just see the leaves, right? We woo, get high and we're just going to vibe and create more of a greater chemistry together, right? Just one day of the week, right? And you do that. So then you won't feel guilty about spending the other six days studying. Can I get a hello there? But you see, here's what trips us up. We give people we're in a relationship with while we're studying, let's just say, let's just say five minutes every single day. But you see, five minutes every single day is 35 minutes of the week. That's all you're giving to the one who saved your ass from getting beaten up, right? She was there for you. He was there for you. And that's how you repay me, right? Surely they're worth more than that because you just spent like 11 hours in the library but only 35 minutes with the so-called person you love, right? Love, right? <laughs> so, once again, the benefits of setting one day where you go out for a couple of hours, right? And then have the additional five minutes a day. They're going to feel more appreciated, more respected. I actually had a friend who was with a super hot woman, right? Back in the day, I was like, damn. We were like, whoa. But he was like, no, I'm so busy. I'm busy, honey. I got to study. And she felt left out, neglected, disowned. And what happened? Well, she got with a cat down the road. She got with someone else, right? Oh, yeah. And after he graduated, he was left all alone. Lonely. Heard that Akon song? Go and listen to it, right? That would definitely help you get some clarity, right? And he, he was lonely because the one who was there for him all the time, nah. Ain't nobody got time for that. He didn't even have time for her. So once again, she, she, she connected with someone who actually appreciated and respected her, who gave her more time and she gave them more time. But the other guy was like, if only I had not being so self-consuming, right? So self-consumed within my own endeavors, right? Maybe I could have saved our damn relationship. Can I get a hello there? But you see, it's not just about studying because here's how it works. You might be working somewhere. You might be doing things, building a business, going places. And guess what? It's at that time when the phone's gonna be ringing. Hey, honey. Let's go out. And you're like, okay, I've got to make this decision. Should I close the deal or should I go out? Should I study or should I go out? Should I go and feed the cat down the road or should I go out with my girlfriend or boyfriend or whoever? Maybe an alien. I don't know what people are doing these days. You've got to inform me. You've got to make a choice. You've got to ask yourself what matters most. You've got to ask yourself that the reason why I said get smart at the beginning is because once again when you are becoming more of a master in what you are studying you can have more time for other things but if you are way behind sorry Drake I know I messed it up if you are way behind right what happens <laughs> now you do feel someone's eating up your time. You do feel guilty hanging around certain families who are just eating Cheetos, watching the TV while beer is you know, pouring down their, their whatever, right? You do feel guilty about being with the one you love because you feel, gosh, yes, I know I'm going to fail tomorrow. 
But once you are, once again, learning, I'm going to do a whole video on how to actually study the best way, right? From a psychological perspective. Okay, so you got to find those kinds of hacks. So you, so once again, you become more intelligent in what you're studying, and that way you can actually prioritize in a better way. So your relationship has just been saved. Can I get a hello? <laughs> we are out here just getting high. Have a beautiful day. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace.